Naming and drawing cis-trans isomers. Well, because single bonds have free rotation, it doesn't really matter which way the groups, in this case the chlorines, are facing, because they're going to be in a different position soon with that free rotation. But double bonds and cyclo compounds, they have restrictive rotation, so the position of the groups, in this case chlorines, is important. This has one, two, three, has four carbons, and uh, there's a double bond between the two and the three, so that's going to be an alkene. So this is but butetuene. Now there are two sorts of butetuene. We could have the hydrogens both on one side and the methyls on the other. Or you could have hydrogens on the opposite sides of the double bond and methyl groups also on the opposite side. Notice that this configuration is more linear Whereas this one is less linear, it seems to have a kind of U-shape in it. So the name for this one, where the, the same groups are on the same side of the double bond, one on each carbon, that's called cis. So this is cis butuene. And this one, oh, cis means same. And this one, where the same groups are on different carbons on different sides, hydrogens also. This is called transbutuene. Trans means across. This is a ring of five carbons, so it's going to be cyclopentane, and there's a couple of chlorines on there. Now there is no free rotation around these bonds. It's locked, just like a carbon-carbon double bond is locked. So that means cis and trans possibilities open up to us. Now this here isn't a cis or trans, they're on the same carbon, so I don't need to tell you if it's cis or trans, I just have to say it's 1,1-dichlorocyclopentane. But, see this one here, this is obviously the trans as we're going across. Now normally a double bond between the carbons would be involved, but if it's a cyclo, that doesn't apply. This is the cis configuration, where they're both on the same side. Now, a few years ago, some smart aleck kid said that you did have rotation around these bonds. There was some free rotation, and he did this to the cis version. But you know what? Even if it does rotate, it still comes out at the cis. So these used to be called geometric isomers, but in the new syllabus, they are cis-trans isomers. Let's look at the definition from this, uh, from this syllabus. Cis-trans isomers can occur in alkenes or cycloalkanes and differ in the positions of atoms or groups relative to a reference plane. Okay, so the reference plane is that carbon-carbon double bond and associated bonds, and there's no free rotation around that. There's no free rotation. And if we look at cyclopropane, that's a planar molecule, it's a flat molecule, and there's also no free rotation because the ring locks the uh, carbons in position. So to recap, this butuene, I'm going to need to use cis or trans, and indeed that is cis, butuene. Cis means the same side, yes the methyls on the same side. And so that would also be cis cyclopropane. The fluorines are on the same side of the plane. Let me just draw that out in full to make it clearer. All right, let's uh, make a copy of the cis butuene, and let me show you how to turn it into the trans. Yeah, I just transposed, or I just moved, the methyl and the hydrogen group. So that's now trans butuene. You can tell which kids at school I teach because my kids say methyl, just like the Queen of England probably does. Uh, and the American teacher's kids, they say methyl. My neighbour is recycling glass, I can hear it. And let's turn this cycloalkane from cis to trans. So let's look at some tricky ones. 
What about if they're on the same carbon, these groups or atoms? Well, if they're on the same carbon, you don't need to say cis or trans. They have to be on different carbons for it to be cis or trans. And what about if they're not next to each other on a cycloalkane? If, let's say, they're on the 1 and the 3 carbon, what does that mean? They're not next to each other. There's a carbon between them. Well, you know what? You can still use cis or trans in this case. Cis means they're on the same side. So cis, 1, 3, difluoro, cyclobutane. OK, pause the video. Work out the names and the structures of these ones. So this one's actually a trick, because if I draw it out, it doesn't strictly follow the rules. The fluorines, yep, they're opposite carbons, that is trans, but on the other pairing of opposites, that's a methyl group and an ethyl group. No, you can't have that. This is actually an easy form of stereoisomerism, and that's the next video.